Hello all, welcome to Brain Attic. So today I'm going to teach you how you can create your own web page without having any knowledge of programming. So the idea is very simple. We are going to use two things, GitHub Pages and Google Site. So what is a GitHub page? GitHub Pages are public web pages for users, organizations and repositories that are freely hosted on GitHub's GitHubIO.domain. And what is a Google Site? So for GitHub pages, we need HTML, CSS, JavaScript file and all this we are, we are going to fetch from the Google site. So to begin with, we first need to have a GitHub account. So once you have created your GitHub account, you can see this is my GitHub account, Brainatic. And once you have created your GitHub account, we will now, we can very now, we, we can very easily now create a repository here. But before that, we will go to Google site. And from a number of templates which are available, we'll choose the template of our choice. So if you, so your um, Google site would appear something like this, and this is your template gallery. As I showed you, like we have a number of template options to choose from. I'm going with the student portfolio. So once I click, something of this manner will come up and I can very easily edit. So here I'm writing brain attic or here I'm making an edit. So it is a very good interface and you can very easily make edits. You can change the size based on your requirement or so right now it's 45. I can change it to suppose maybe eight or I'll just put it back to 45 again. Okay. Yes. And you can change the font and whatnot. And you can write a small description about yourself. Welcome to our page. The purpose of this page is to share knowledge. Please find us on YouTube. The number of images you can apply. We can you can edit the page based on your requirement. So once the page is ready, the next action which you need to take is go into your Google Drive and you have to create a new folder. So how do you create a new folder? Click on new and then click on new folder. Once you click on new folder, a small pop up will appear in front of you. You can give the name based on your uh, requirement. So I've given this as a my website and within this my website, I have to keep, keep the copy of the web page which I've just created. I'll show you. So this is the copy of the brain addict web page which I just created. So once you have done that, the next action which you need to take is that you have to go to Google takeout. So for that, what you have to do is simply Google what is Google Takeout? So the idea of Google is uh, Google Takeout is that you can very easily find, uh, download your data information. So once you click on that, it will take you to this page. Now, some important actions which you need to do, and these are very important. You have to be very careful while proceeding. So you have to first deselect all. Now, once you have deselected everything, so zero of 44 being selected, you have to scroll down and come to drive, click here, click on all drive data included. Now uncheck this box. Now deselect all, click on deselect all again. The only folder which you want right now to download is this my website. So I'll check that. I'll click on OK. So once that is done, I'll scroll down the entire page. There are a lot of things which are available and I'll click on next step. Once I have clicked on next step, it will ask me whether it wants, uh, whether I want to send a download link via email and other options are available. So I'll just ask the download link via an email. Export once, six exports, zip file format is fine with me. File size will be very small since I've created a very small web page. It would be around four to five MBs only. I'll click on create export. As soon as I create, click on create export, it will say that it is going to send a email with the download link. So you will receive a email something of this manner. So I did this uh, long back. So once you have that, you can very easily click on download your files. So once you download your file, you will have a zip file of this manner. Okay. Now very easily you can right click on it and click on extract all. So once you click on extract all, a folder will be created of this manner and here if you go a little through the folders, you will find that your folder my website is available. And here copy of brain attic is the web page which you just created using Google site inside draft. You, these are the files which we are interested in. Okay. So this is basically all the HTML files which we are interested in are available now to us. 
now this is the part with google sites we come to github now while working with github what we need to do is that we need to create a new repository so once you click on new repository it will open up page it's taking some time your repository name should be similar to your name over here the the name which you have given it's very important so i'll give brain hyphen attic dot github dot io that's it now i'll add a readme file to it which is also important so brain attic dot github dot io this is available now yes create repository so this will take a moment so basically what is happening is that you are making a uh, a web page on github server and usually it will take some time also so nothing to worry about that now as you have created we'll just open one more slide or we can just uh, use one of the slides over one of the browser pages over here so we can just search for brain attic dot github dot io so okay we need to give some four files I actually as i said that it will take some time it will not appear immediately as you uh, publish it and uh, never mind so what we are going to do next is that we are going to add files to it so we are going to upload files okay and the folder which you just uh, created right now we are going to drop all the files from here into that so i'm going to select all and i'll drop all the files here so you can see i'll just minimize this so you can see all the files coming down here so basically this is the google site which we created and we are we have uh, taken out all the code of that google website and we are uh, putting it here it will take some time uh, we'll just wait for some so already four files of 26 have been uploaded um, i think i took a bigger template a smaller template would have been better see a lot of images are there inside home and it takes some time to upload all these images so we'll just check whether uh, this has come or not yes so if you recall in the readme page so this just got hosted and on the readme page we had written this brain attic we had this uh, brain attic dot github dot io right so now so this this basically shows that we our our web page is available so we'll just wait for some more time uh, for this all these files to get uploaded I think uh, now all the HTML files are there. I think the okay, some image activities has some image files. So already 20 of 26 files are uploaded. We are almost done. So once you are done with all the uploads over here, what you have to come, what you have to do is come down and click on commit changes. We'll do that as the files files are uploaded. So 22, four more files. Uh, I think these are bigger files, bigger image files or something like that. We need to also create so we'll use this time uh, instead of waiting here so we need instead of home um, home.html we need an index.html as well so we'll just create a copy of this um, 
so basically this is the same file what we are doing is that uh, github will search for it uh, index.html so whatever your front page will be will basically be the index.html so we have to upload this file too we'll just drop it uh, now so as you can see all my files are ready and they have all my files are uploaded so i'll just go down and i'll click on uh, index.html got uploaded commit changes so i as i do the commit changes it is processing your file this may take a few minutes to complete uh, since we used a high resolution like a bigger template or a um, template with better image images or high resolution images it is taking some time so we yeah, have one more thing which we have to do is that we have to delete the readme file so we'll just open this readme file this is not needed anymore and we have to read delete this so we'll simply delete the readme file commit changes yeah now if i just go back and so the, now my web page is ready my github web page is ready so if i just go back and i refresh as i said it will take some time uh, so what we can do is that we can go to index.html html okay i think the file is still not ready yet on the github server it takes its time We'll keep refreshing it until we get the so once you are done with it um, your web page if I just preview it so this is the desktop preview of your web page it will appear in yes so this is basically the desktop preview of your web page and a similar web page will appear for your brain attic account so the reason we have we have deleted the readme.md file and yet it is appearing is that the github server is still working on it so so now as you load the web page it is ready so for my case it took me around 15 minutes and it totally depends upon the uh, availability of the github server so how quickly your web page gets ready and also how big your web page is so by uh, mistake i took a template which was very big and it took some time and uh, however it works and as you can see uh, if you click on brainattic.github.io the link which we created and it is ready you can click on activities and same as the web page which will be available on the google site same web page will be available for you too on your uh, domain name so this is how you prepare your web page using github pages and google site i hope you like this video please do share and subscribe thank you thank you so very so very much